Hi guys, um, it seems I'm on a bit of a Mukume Gani kick at the moment because I'm going to bring to you today yet another Mukume Gani but this time um, I'm going to be using mainly translucent in this one so you're going to need some translucent, I'm using Sculpey Primo I'm also going to be using some Sculpey Primo Opal and it's got the little glittery flakes in it um, some Sculpey Copper to be tinting the uh, translucent with um, some silver glitter actually I think this is uh, this is white gold glitter but it looks silver and a little bit of black um, you're also going to need some silver leaf which I've got here and I'm going to be using this very simple flower cutter I'll leave the link in the description for this they come with a whole pack of different shapes they're a bit flimsy but they do the job so I'll be using that as well and some small round cutters um, so I'm just going to start taking the translucent um, so let me think I want some plain translucent I want some translucent hinted with some black so you can see roughly how much I'm taking so I'm just going to take a large pea size of black clay and that's going to tint this um, translucent and then roughly the same amount to add some copper and again a large pea size maybe a little bit too much to take some off okay so plain translucent translucent tinted with black translucent tinted with copper um, and then I'm going to take some of the opal as well if I can get it open um, a piece of that and I'm going to be using a little bit of silver as well So there, the clays that you're going to need, and I may I may need some more translucent for the backing. In fact, I know I will. So there'll be some more translucent involved in that. But for the actual stack, these are the components that I'm going to use. So that needs to remain translucent, translucent with a, a large pea size of black, translucent with a large pea size of copper, some opal, and some glittery silver. So I'm going to go and mix all those and condition all those and I'll be back. So I've rolled out my translucent onto a number three. I've rolled out the um, translucent tinted with black on a number three and the same with the translucent tinted with copper number three, opal number three and I've rolled out just some plain glitter silver and this is on a number six. Um, I've also rolled out, because I am adding some just plain colours as well, so I've got pure black rolled out onto a number 6 and copper rolled out onto a number 6. So while this is mainly translucent, I do want some solid colour in there as well. Okay, so let's start uh, making the stack. So I'm just going to cut a couple of squares from each.
I may add more translucent, we'll see how it goes and I've rolled I've already rolled some out just in case. Oops. There goes my cutter. Excuse me a second. I'm just going to have to piece this bit together a little bit. Okay, so two squares of each and I may add more translucent, we'll see. So I'm going to start with the black at the bottom. And then I'm going to add the translucent mixed with copper. And then the opal. And a square of trans. And then I'm going to top this translucent with some silver leaf. And then I'm going to add just plain copper, plain silver, opal, oh I didn't put any of this in yet, let me put that there, the black tinted with translucent, then the opal, then the plain translucent top with some more silver leaf and then the silver black trans copper trans and gold and I'm not going to use this black so there's literally a tiny bit of black in this and I think that will be good so once you've um, stacked everything just start to roll a little bit just to make sure everything's stuck together where did my other blade go? Why do I always lose stuff? There it is. So just roll out a little bit and just flatten it a little bit because I want to cut in half and restack. Uh, cut in half, restack, and that way we have got some of the black running through. Like I said, I didn't want too much in this. Give it a good roll. And then just squish it back into a thicker block again. So that's the stack ready and now it's just a case of making your impressions and like I say I'm using this little plunger cutter but I'm only using this part of it I'm not actually going to plunge this through if that makes any sense so just 
push it as deep as you can get it to go and this is quite a thick stack so it might not go all the way to the bottom but push it as far as you can and then gently pull back out so you've got your um, flower there now the other thing I wanted to do is just to make a very simple cane with the black and the silver and that is literally just a case of making a little jelly roll so just move this out of the way so I'm just going to roll this out quickly And the same with the silver. And I'm just going to quickly roll these on a number four. going to tidy them up a little bit. I feel like I'm all fingers and thumbs today and a little bit forgetful too. Okay, so you don't want a massive amount, it's just to make a very simple jelly roll. And then just um, put them together and I'm going to roll with the black on the outside. I'm just going to angle this off a little bit, just makes it look a bit neater. And then just start to roll. doesn't have to be perfect. This is basically going in the center of our flower. So we've got a little jelly roll and we just need to reduce it down a little bit. So I always start from the centre of a cane, not that I make many canes, but when I do, I roll, I start to push from the middle outwards. And then just a gentle roll. And it doesn't need to be too thick, so it's fairly thin. Just take some of that away, and that's it. It's just a li simple little spiral. So there's that. Then I'm going to take my um, smaller round cutters that I showed you. These came in a little um, um, t not tin um, case, plastic case, and it's got several smaller round cutters in it. I will leave the link for that. But I'm using the smaller ones. And I'm just going to make a hole in the centre of this flower. And it needs to be pushed all the way down to the bottom. So you are actually leaving 
a hole in there. And then I'm going to take some of this little cane, make sure it fits. And just put that in the centre there. I made that too small. Hang on guys, let me just push this back through, make it a bit bigger. in there like that and then I'm going to take um, my sp a smaller cutter so I use this one for the flower and this one smaller and just make some random holes in the stack all the way down to the bottom It's a bit awkward getting the clay back out of these because they're so narrow and long. It's well and truly stuck in there. Okay. So another, make another one in this size. If you give it a little wiggle, it helps to pull the clay back out. And then I'm going to go with an even smaller sized cutter and just do a few more random holes in there I'm not going to bother fiddling with that, I'll just use something else I'm just going to use a pokey tool. You don't need many holes, just a few. And I think that's good. And then we're going to take the, um, the jelly roll again and just fill these holes up as well. Wash it in there, just take off the excess if you need to. And roll out a little bit thin for the smaller holes. I think I'm going to leave the small ones as is. So I'm just filling the bigger, the bigger holes with the um, jelly roll. Okay, so now we've done that, and you can see 
it's gone through to the other side for the most part. I just need to compress back again. But I don't want to compress too much because I don't want to lose the shape of that flower. But just enough so it's all stuck together. And a little roll. All the while trying to maintain this shape. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, obviously as you cut through the pattern is going to look a little bit different but I'm going to take a fairly thick slice um, for the first pendant that I want to make and try and maintain um, some of this gold or copper outline. So I'm going to take a fairly thick slice for this. some reason that's gone really blurry. I'll sort that out in a minute. Okay so I've got this and now it's just a question of shaving but I don't want to shave too deep. I want to try and maintain some of this gold around there. So I'm very very gently shaving. It's taking it going a little bit deeper over here. Let's try and get some of that silver showing through. keep doing that until you're happy. So I've left I've left some of the gold around there. I'm just going to give it a quick roll. I'm just going to try and get in here where that little hole was. So there's that first one, which obviously it's not finished. I need to sort this out because it didn't cut very well for some reason. I don't think I did it with the blunt side. So I'm just going to shave some of this off. There we go, that's better. I think I can cut this in half. Try and get another slice if I can. Hopefully. Okay. Now 
that's lost a lot of the um, flower pattern now, but it still looked kind of nice. But this one's still got the the imprint of the flower. So I'm probably not going to bother with this one just for now. I'll make something else with it. I really just wanted to show you with the the flower imprint. The stack was a little too thick and it didn't go all the way through. I'm making so many mistakes today, aren't I? But you get the general idea. Okay, so I'm just going to roll some black clay out so we can... No, not black. Translucent. And I've already rolled it out. Okay. Oh my goodness, my brain today. Okay. So I'm going to take the first piece. I think I'm just going to try and compress it a little bit though just a little bit and place it on there like so and I need some card to burnish with just a piece of scrap card I'll just give it a quick burnish And a quick roll. Now at this point you could actually shave a little more off if you wanted. Shall I or shan't I? I think I'll just take a little bit more off here and there. do Let's give this a quick roll make sure it's nice and smooth And I'm going to do my usual um, sanding routine on this as well. Although I think these would look good resined. But um, I might resin one. And I just need to roll out this with the other pendant. It won't be a second. I'm just going to place that on there. Give this a roll. I'm going to give this one a little stretch, try and elongate that flower a little bit. more. I want to make sure it's really smooth. That's good. So we've got our two pieces ready to cut and don't forget this um, end piece can still be used. It's still going to make a really nice pair of earrings or pendant or something. Okay, so what shapes do I want today? I'll try and get as much of this as I, as I can. Just need to roll this up a little bit and stretch it out a bit. Just a bit 
Get this nice rippled effect in just here. Okay. I'm going to grab my block. I want to make sure it cut through all the way. So there's that one. a little bit. Okay, so there's that one. And this one, I think I'm going to go with a square. going to chop some of that flower off, not all of it, just the very edges. I just want to get more of this um, and just push down. There's little pieces of glitter from the opal sticking out, just pull those out. And I think that looks fine like that. So there's two pendants. I managed to get two pendants out of that stack. Three if you use the end piece of it. Um, it's a shame the flower didn't go all the way through, but oh well. Okay, so let's just give these a quick burnish and then I shall put them in the oven. And when I've done that, I'll be back to show you. I'm not going to show you any sanding, but I'm going to do the usual amount of sanding, starting with a 320 grit, moving up to 400, 600, 800, 1000, 2000, 3000. Um, and I've not decided whether I'm going to resin one of them yet, so if I resin one of them, I'm not going to sand it as well, obviously. We'll see. But anyway, once I've um, baked those, I'll be back. And I'm so sorry, guys. I've been like all today. My brain is all over the place and I don't know what's wrong. But anyway, I hope, I hope it was clear enough. And like I say, once they're baked, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back and they've been baked and I made the decision to resin all of them. They just didn't come out as I would have liked not resined, but here they are. So that's the square one. And I love how this one came out, this is my favorite. And the, the scrap piece, the piece at the end that um, didn't retain the flower, I did um, manage to salvage something from it and here it is. And all I did was um, imprinted the flower in it again and then just shaved a little bit more off. So that's that piece. So that's what they look like using um, mainly translucent clay. I'm not 100% happy with this one. It's still pretty but um, I think the second one came out a lot better and it's got more um, definition. So that's why I resined them instead of just sanding them. But that's those. And I just want to show you some that I made. These were, these were my experiment before I did this one and I didn't want to use all my translucent because I'm running low. So all I did was do the exact same thing but using white instead of translucent and there's no opal in these either. So there's no translucent in these. Um, I tinted white with the same colours, a bit of black, a bit of copper 
and the silver leaf in them as well. Um, so that's what they look like. I think they look kind of cool. They look kind of painterly, if you know what I mean. They're just kind of, they're a bit abstract, I guess. But like I say, same technique, just no translucent. I swapped out the translucent for white and that is all I did. And then um, this one as well. And these are sanded and buffed. And then another one, a different shape. And then um, just a little scrap piece that I had and I just blended it onto black. So I hope you got the general idea, even though I'm not 100% happy um, with these two. This one I do like. And um, like I say, these were an experiment before I, I recorded just to see what the effect would look like using white clay. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you understood. Um, thank you for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.